I would call it flaw number one in the theory of evolution. And that is, it fails to explain the origin of the mind. The origin of the mind. Now, how many of you have minds? Okay. How many are wondering if you have a mind? Okay. Well, listen, I have good news for you. You were wondering with your mind. Right? So even if you're wondering, you have a mind. That's proof of that. So if you leave with just that wondrous revelation, it's awesome. But your mind is not a material part of you. It is an immaterial part of you. Your part of the image of God is that you are material and immaterial. So you are made of the stardust stuff plus the immaterial aspect of your mind. Now, two questions as it relates to evolution. If an immaterial process... Or an, if, if a material process, a natural process that simply deals with the chemistry, arrived at your immaterial mind through a series of mistakes, how do you know your thinking is not mistaken? In other words, if mistakes got you here, how do you know your thinking? How can you trust your thoughts even? This is a problem that Darwin had way back when he was thinking of his theory because he thought, man, if we came from apes. How do I know I don't have an ape brain and my thoughts aren't just the musings of a, of a bewildered ape? You don't know that. So philosophically, we already have a process, uh, already have a problem. Mindless processes don't create minds. It's a bad cause and effect connection. Secondly, the immaterial part of who you are supervenes over the material part of who you are. In other words, it has power over it. It is greater than the material part of you. How do I know? Everybody raise your hand. Okay, you chose to do that. I didn't say put them down. You chose to do that too. Now, your hand does not have a mind. But your mind controlled your hand. Your, your hand is just physical. It's just meat. But your brain and your mind interacted that said raise that hand. So the immaterial is greater. It rises above the material. Now watch. If the evolutionary process is bound by physical constraints, it's only, it only can do what nature tells it to do. It's material. There's no way it can reach above to create something immaterial that will be over and above the material. It can't. It can't rise above the chemistry to create something that's not chemical. 